Hey guys, welcome back today. I am here with my weekly What I Melted box. I have a lot to go through, so I am just gonna jump right in. Um, there are some things that I completely melted because I was trying to get through the clams that had two or less cubes left. I tried to get through some scent shots that only had half left. I tried to get through some samples that I had because I had a lot of samples from different vendors. So I'm just gonna jump right in because I have a lot. Um, first thing is Sookie. And it's a gingerbread buttery cake bites and applesauce buttercream. This one confused me. On cold, I got, when I got this, this one was a partial. Only had, I think, three cubes left when I got this. It was one I got in a D-stash. Anyways, I, on cold, I get more of a bakery note with a hint of apple at the end. When I melt it, I get strictly Mac apple. That's not a bad thing, but I thought some more bakery would come out because on cold I do get like a cake, cakey and a gingerbread type note in the buttercream. But it smelled almost like I walked into Yankee Candle and Mac Apple was going. I mean, that's about how it smelled. It was good, but it kind of confused me. So I'm not sure about that. Next is Harley Quinn, pink sugar blackberry jam and vanilla sugar waffle cone. This one's one of my favorites. I'm down to two clams, so I will be kind of hoarding them till I can get my hands on more. For some reason, when I get down to two clams of my favorites, I tend to back off on melting them because for some reason, two clams makes me nervous. I, maybe because I do have five warmers. Oh, I did forget to mention, um, for those of you who are new to my channel or whatever, um, or new to watching my melted videos. I have five warmers going 24 seven. I have three of the Glade 20 watt. I have a Sensi 15 watt nightlight plug-in in the bathroom. And then I have a Sensi 25 watt in my office. Um, I have two warmers in my office and dining room because it's a double room. And so I have a Glade 20 watt and a Sensi 25 watt in there. And both tend to throw really well. And then the, the other Sensi is in the bathroom. My bedroom has a Glade 20 watt. My kitchen has a Glade 20 watt. So that's for, you know, for y'all's information. And if I, so if I say I melted this in the bathroom, you'll know it was the 15 watt Sensi. If I say office or bedroom or kitchen, then you'll know. Um, so this was in the office and dining room. Very nice. I love it. I will always repurchase that. Another one I finished up is Percy Random Lemon Curd. I love Brandy's Lemon Curd. I love Rain Scents. This one I put in my kitchen last night because I only had one cube left. And it smells amazing. It is throwing like a beast. I melted another cube of Lavender Orange Dream. Sweet Lavender Orange Sherbet. Um, this you'll see in my weekly melts for a while. I am trying to melt my bedtime scents and alternate them so I don't get like the same ones every night. So um, my standbys I will melt probably once a week for a little while but I do have more wax coming in that are bedtime kind of scented so I will be melting those as well but until then I will be working on some of these. Next I melted some marshmallow cake Noel Pink Coconut Salty Sear from Sniff My Tarts. This one I got in a D-stash from my friend Dana. Um, there was two of these, so I melted one in my kitchen. This is pretty close to some of the Salty Sear blends from Sasago Aroma, which I was trying to duplicate now that I'm no longer purchasing from her. Um, Dana sent me a whole bunch. I bought a D-stash from her. She sent me a whole bunch of Salty Sear blends, so I'm kind of getting a feel for who else has good Salty Sear blends. Um... So yeah, this one's nice. I kind of don't want to melt this other one, but I kind of do because I don't like holding onto those, you know, partials for so long. I put Backwoods Barbie from Vintage Chic Scents in my bedroom just now. It smells amazing. I love it. Um, this is one of the, I only had two of these little samples cured. The rest of my Vintage Chic Scents is not cured yet. Um, so I am, I was trying to go through a little bit of that and I do have a little bit of this in my bin so I was trying to use a little bit. Another one you will probably see not weekly but at least monthly is Lorelei. It's coffee midnight ice cream cinnamon donuts. Um, I melt a cube in each of my warmers in the office and dining room on Sunday mornings. It is gorgeous. I do have several coffee blends that I do alternate so next week you'll see a different coffee blend but this still is one of my favorites. I melted this uh, tart in Sea Blossom from Can Do Candles. I quartered it 
and put it in my bathroom. It was really nice. It had a decent throw. Um, it wasn't too overpowering and it wasn't too strong because cutting it in quarters kind of does make it not as strong. But I can't put more than that in my bathroom warmer because the bowl is not big enough being one of those plug-in nightlights. So it did its purpose and I'm... I'm happy with that. I love Candu Candles. I think she's very underrated, not talked about enough. I finished my BM bag and Go to Sleep Magically Delicious. This broke my heart. <laughs> I don't like Go to Sleep by itself, and I have a pan coming, so I'm going to try to trade it for a pan of this blend because I can't do Go to Sleep by itself. It has to be mixed with Magically Delicious, and I've tried putting a cube of each in my warmer to mimic it, and the way her ratios are set up in this dual is not the same as what I can do. So I'm going to wind up having to find a blended version uh, some way or another to either trade my pan that I'm going to get and go to sleep or sell my pan and then save the money to try to find another BAM bag or pan or whatever of this. So yeah, I love this blend together. It's nice and creamy. Go to sleep is harsh to my nose by itself. I think the lavender cream does it. Even though it's got pink sugar, the lavender cream is a little too harsh for me. But the Magically Delicious makes it very sweet. And so I do enjoy it. And again, because I finished this, clearly I enjoy it since I finished that. I melted another piece of my Kimmery Ann's Strawberry Preserves Cream Soda Stuff French Toast. I love this blend. This I put on one morning because it was just a nice morning breakfast type blend. Um, it is very nice. It throws like a beast. It's super strong. I just, I have zero complaints about this scent. I melted some Darth Rosemary Mint, oh, Omen blended with Rosemary Mint. This is gorgeous. This is one that kind of mimics a, sal a salty sea air type blend because the Omen has the Ocean Breeze and Mac Apple. So it kind of, kind of resembles it in a way. I do really enjoy this blend. It threw like a beast. It was in my office and dining room and it floated through my living room and into my bedroom. That's how strong it was. I finished this Destination Wax Beach Linen. I cut this in eight pieces to put in my bathroom because again, the bowl is really small. It was a nice linen scent. I really enjoyed it, but it wasn't super strong because I had to cut the pieces so small. So I hate to say it, it didn't work as well, but... It wasn't as strong as I thought it would be if it had been cut in bigger pieces. I melted the sample in Mia. I got this in my last order. I wanted to try it just to see if it was something I wanted to purchase, and I don't. Um, it's French baguette, sugar cookie brulee, blueberry tart, and almond marzipan. It's just a little too heavy bakery for me. Not as sweet. Um, just not, not, I mean, it was okay, but it's not th something I'd repurchase. I finished Grimes, coffee, applesauce, donuts. There's one cube left in here, so I put it in my kitchen yesterday morning. Gorgeous. This is my, this and Lorelei fight the spot for my top uh, coffee scent. These two are just, they're just gorgeous coffee scents. This is a very equal coffee, applesauce, and donuts blend. Next, I finished Luna, lemon curd, French vanilla, Twilight. There was two cubes left, so I put them in each of my two warmers in the office and dining room um it's a nice blend it's not as crazy i'm not as crazy about it as i thought i would be it is nice i would buy it again i melted half of this bedtime bath from candu candles so i cut these in half for my warmers that i use elsewhere the only one i cut in quarters is for my bathroom this is really nice it smells just like the johnson and johnson bedtime bath it's a nice bedtime scent i really like it i'm gonna put this in my next week's box to finish it up I melted another cube of Scentsy Lotus Cove. This is a hot mess. It is very leaky, liquidy. Kim Hart's organizing was talking about the same thing, how her Scentsy bars have gone really just weird on her, and this one has too. This will go in my weekly box until it's gone. There's just three cubes left. It won't take me long to finish that. I melted some of this nightmare I got the other day. Um, I melted a half of the toes in the sand scent shot. This is the one that I got in that de-stash that did not even have a bottom to it. The bottom just disintegrated or disappeared. Um, I got zero throw from it. I'm going to just put this in my this week's box and just try to finish it up because I have a feeling I'm not going to get throw from anything. I melted this in my kitchen. It's strawberry lemon ice cream from Ava's Country Cupboard. This is another one that came and this came beautifully packaged. This came wrapped in bubble wrap. 
and everything in there was secured nicely. And so I don't know what in the hell happened, but I threw it in the warmer the day I got it. I got it on Saturday. I threw it in the warmer Saturday night. It threw beautifully. It smelled beautiful. It lasted all night and was gorgeous. Um, but I was glad to use it up because it was a hot mess. I finished a clam of penguin, blackberry jam, ocean rain, and pink of sands. There was only two cubes left. So again, I went through all my clams that had one or two cubes left and trying to use them up this month. This is gorgeous. Nice, fresh scent. I really enjoy it. I have, I think, three backups. I melted a cube of Laveau I got in a D-stash. This is another one that I will put in my weekly melts for a little while. Um, it's like lavender cream, butter cream crystals or something like that. I don't know. Um, I like it. I never liked this one before, but I really like it now. Um, this is one I'm going to need to look for more of. I melted some more of my Bam Bag of Coven. It's Cola Cake Butter Vanilla Bean Noel Zucchini Bread. I have two melts left, so I'm going to throw this in my next week's box as well. I do have two clams of it, so I'm okay finishing this up. It's gorgeous. I get cola and cake batter with a hint of zucchini. It is one of my favorite blends. I melted some more of this. It wasn't just a dream. I have a couple clamshells of this, so I'm trying to finish up some of the Bam Bag. I don't want to use it too fast because I really enjoy it. This is one you'll probably see in my weekly melts for a little while. Again, trying to alternate so I don't melt the same thing every single night. Pink sugar, lavender cream, peppermint. I love it. It's just gorgeous. All right, I finished the scent shot in Puppy Paws, which is mouse ears and cherry. Very nice. I think I mouse eared myself out though. I'm kind of like getting eh on the mouse ears blends for right now. I think I've just overdone it because once she came out with those blends, I kind of just overdid. It was melting it quite often and now I'm kind of over it. <laughs> it was good. It was strong. It had a really good throw, but I'm, I'm going to take a break from mouse ears. I finished Janine. I had one cube left. I cut it in half, melted it in my bathroom for two days. I get downy and pink chiffon. I don't get any Mac apple. This is my favorite bathroom scent. It smells so good and clean. I love it. I have one more, so I'm going to hold on to that till I can get my hands on some more. I finished the Jackal. There was only one cube left of this, so I put it in my kitchen. Blackberry preserve, zucchini bread, toast, and mallow. I have, I think, three or four more of these. It is my, like, in my top five bakery scents from Super Tarts. It is gorgeous. It smells amazing. Just, oh God, it's so good. Anyways, um, it is very nice. I melted the sample in Logan, which is black tie, amber romance, clove, and driftwood. Again, trying to get a feel for some of these so I know whether or not I want to buy them. Um, I melted quite a bit of these little sample bags to get kind of a a feel for if I like them or not and this one I really 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 liked I do have it currently in my cart so that I can when I make my next purchase I can grab it up um, it is one that I will definitely stock up on it feels like it feels like it smells like more of a fall type scent it just had that kind of fall I think it's like the clove part and like maybe the amber just felt like yeah felt like fall when I would had it in it felt like I put it in my bedroom and when I'd walk in my bedroom, it felt like I was in fall. Um, yeah, I really, really enjoyed that though. Next, Hotel Transylvania. This one's got like kettle corn and something else. I, I really liked it. I put it on in my bedroom yesterday. It was really nice. Kind of, again, like a folly type scent. Um, I do have a clam of this. Um, I'm not overly crazy about it. It's not one that I would hoard but it is one I would enjoy a clam and then be okay not melting for a while. A uh, sample of Orange is the New Pink from Zate Bath. I got this in my order in May. Very nice. I love pink sugar. It's mandarin oranges and pink sugar. Very very nice. It lasted quite a while. It was super sweet. I really enjoyed that. Melted Beauty and the Beast sample. I have so much of this scent so I felt okay melting my sample. Um, really nice. My favorite. It's the blackberry, which I enjoy a lot. Um, and then the magically delicious, which I enjoy a lot. So I will continue to buy this over and over and over and over. Beach daisies from Candu Candles. This one I cut in half, melted in my bedroom twice. Uh, very, very, very nice. It was, um, a nice, like copper tone type scent. Um, that's what it smelled like to me. It smelled like sunscreen. It, it was not overpowering. It was 
really just a nice sweet scent i really really enjoyed it and i would definitely um buy it again um at the time like next summer probably countess uh pistachio and chai sugar milk again i was trying to get a feel for if i like this i really do this one also feels like a fall scent to me um i sugar milk scares me because like bernadette smells like vomit <laughs> and i know i've said this before but ver that's what bernadette smells like to me so i try to melt these before i see if i like them and i really enjoyed this one it did it smelled very sweet sometimes sugar milk can be sweet and sometimes it can be sour it just depends and the same vendor can have it smell sweet or sour depending on what's blended with like frosty i really enjoy that and that's got sugar milk but whatever was in the bernadette one it smelled horrible but this was really nice this one's also in my cart to purchase next time same thing with this herschel's farm it's watermelon strawberries honeydew oranges this one scared me a little because i don't like too too fruity like fruity mix with bakery is good and fruity by itself is okay if there's like one or two fruits but when there's four fruits sometimes it can get too overpowering fruity for me this was gorgeous i enjoyed this this is also in my cart again i was trying to see if i liked it before i bought some I melted a cube of blackberry or blueberry lime aid from Goose Creek. I have several of these still, um, so I am trying to push through them. I do enjoy Goose Creek's wax melts, and I enjoy their candles. Um, and this is one I would repurchase. My husband really, really liked that. I melted a cube of coconut lemongrass from Scentsy. I'm trying to use up the rest of my Scentsy bars. I think I only have like two or three left. Um, and so this was nice. I put it in the bathroom. It lasted a full 24 hours. I really, really enjoyed it. I used the scent shot in blueberry cake donut from Candy Panda. Did not get much of a throw. This is the other one that was th tossed in that PFRE along with the Zape ones. It, it, I don't know if that had anything to do with it. I do not have very good luck with Candy Panda. I do cut these in half. Um, I have not had very good luck with Candy Panda. I don't know what the deal is. I melted this lavender cotton candy frosting from Dust's. It was half a scent shot left. I threw it in my bedroom. It's nice. It is one that I really enjoy. I do like the pink lavender sugar or whatever it's called better from hers. Um, but this one was nice and sweet as well. I finished a clam, a very good cookie. I have a bam bag and another clam. So I was okay finishing this. It had, I think, two cubes. It had two cubes left. I put it in each of my warmers in the office and dining room. Very nice, very nice berry and cookie scent. I finished Flash. Again, there was one cube left, so I threw it in the kitchen or bedroom. I can't remember. Um, it's strawberries, sweet lemonade, creamy cake. I get just a sweet strawberry lemonade with a hint of bakery. It is very nice. One of my favorite lemonade scents, and I have plenty of this to, to keep hoarding. I used another piece of raspberry lemonade from Hayden Rowe. Um, there's three pieces left. I'll probably throw this in my next there are this coming up weeks melts just because lemonade scents i'm kind of getting out of as we are going to get into fall in another little over a month so i am going to try to work on these so i don't hold them over till next year annabeth from super tarts um gorgeous put it in my kitchen i want to hoard this until i can get more of it it is a beautiful scent it's salt water taffy and pink sugar and just a very very sweet scent Dessert with Marina Hera from Vintage Chic Scents. It is blueberry cobbler, blackberry jam, butter cookies. So sweet. So gorgeous. I really enjoy this scent. Um, I put it in my kitchen and it just, it smelled so, so good. I melted half of this scent shot from L3 Waxy Wonders in Fruit Loop Cheesecake. I will put this in my next week's, or this coming week's blend, or box, because again, half a scent shot I don't want to keep. Very, very nice fr Fruit Loop scent. I enjoy cereal scents a lot. Sentinel uh, Herbal Lavender Blackberry Preserves Marshmallow. I enjoy this. I melted this in the bedroom at night. Um, this is another one you'll see in my weekly melts for a little while. Just to, again, to kind of make it so that I'm not melting the same thing every day. Very nice. I really enjoy that. And last... But probably least, <laughs> Rockets Ice Cranberry Juice. I cut it in half and melted half in... No, I cut it in quarters. And I melted a quarter in each of my warmers in the office and dining room. And it was strong, but it was too much. Very, very tart, cranberry, overpowering scent. I 
I don't know. I, I need to see if there's like a cake or something I can cut it with because it is just too sweet. Um, it was good. It threw. It threw amazingly, but it was just too sweet. And so I'm going to put this in this week's box and finish it up. And then I'm glad to be done with that because, oh God, that was horrible. Um, it wasn't a bad scent, but it was just too, too sweet and too strong. So that's what I went through. I emptied a lot. Like a lot. Um... I had a lot of clamshells with two or one cube left, so I just put them all in the box and finished them up. And then my box for this week has a bunch also that have little amounts in there. Um, I'm trying to not hoard the scents that only have a couple pieces or one or two melts because I can always buy them again. I always have that fear of missing out. Like I did not partake in samplers this weekend from Super Tarts. Um, I have most of the blends that she offered, so I felt confident that I didn't need to. And I'm trying to cut down some of my Super Tart stash. Not really cut down, but I have so much. Because other than Sassy Girl, Super Tart has been the main vendor I have bought from over the last six months. And approaching a year into vendor wax and only having really one vendor, I have like one bin of other vendor wax and the rest is Super Tarts. And so that's why you're going to see all these hauls coming up because I have so many other vendors I want to try. Um, but I don't, I don't feel like I need to miss out on things all the time. But I do keep track of what she releases because when she releases scents, they'll go to the bottom of the pour schedule. And so I do want to stock up if I'm low. So I started making a list of what I get down to on my favorites. Like if I have two clams, then she restocks, I can grab one or two more and then I know I'm good for a while. Um, that kind of thing. And she has a lot of blends that are similar. Um, she has a lot of bakery, a lot of lemonade, a lot of bedtime. So I am going to try to do more of that instead of being all, oh my God, I got to get 10,000 of these because I might miss out for six months. So instead, if I run out of Jackal, I can enjoy Fake and Bake. You know, they're similar with the zucchini bread. Or, you know, if I run out of Lorelei, I have Grimes or whatnot. So I'm going to try to do that so I'm not over buying on Super Tarts um, and see if that helps. So anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you all have a great day and I will be back tomorrow with some more hauls. I have some hauls coming in today. It is Monday. I have, I think, Super Tarts, Vintage Chic Scents. I think my Wilma's is going to be here today. I know I have at least Vintage Chic Scents and Super Tarts coming today. So I'll be back tomorrow with some more hauls. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you later. Bye.